talking about uh, construct constructing a parallel line through a point. So a few days ago we talked about the parallel postulate and we said that the parallel postulate told us that if we have a line and a point that's not on that line that we can construct we can construct or we that there there's exactly one line that is parallel that goes through the point so we're going to learn today how to construct that so here's our line and here's our point so the first thing that we're going to do is if you were constructing this you would use your straight edge here and we're going to draw an angle so I'm going to from the end of my line here I'm going to draw an angle that goes through that point point. and if I take this angle right here and I copied it onto this line and I, I'm just going to draw a dotted line through here just I want to talk about this construction if I copy that angle and I, and I got this line through this point what if these two lines are parallel what kind of angles would these two <coughs> angles be ones inside the parallel lines ones outside the parallel lines so what would we call those two angles well, ones inside and one's outside. So what was the only pair that we talked about where one was inside and one was outside? Someone said it. They're not alternate. They're both on the same side of the transversal. They're, these would be corresponding angles. So if we could copy this angle right here, up here, we would have corresponding angles. So that's what our construction does. So our idea is we're going to draw this angle and then we're going to copy it up here with our compass. So let's let's see how we do that. So here is my here's my line. Here's my point. First thing we do for our construction is draw this angle and you need to extend it through the point. Now I'm going to Second thing I'm going to do is grab my compass and I'm going to take my compass and I'm going to set the point right here on that right here on that angle. And I'm going to rotate it around here. And what I want to do, it doesn't matter how far open my compass is, I'm just going to make a mark through the angle. And then without changing the compass, I'm going to bring the compass up here to this point and set it on the point. And I'm going to mark that same arc through here. For this part, it doesn't matter how far apart the compass is. I just need to make a mark through that angle. So I make the mark through the angle here. I keep the compass open the exact same amount, set it on the dot there, and make that arc up on the, the line that I drew for my angle. And now, I'm going to take my compass and set it right here where the arc goes through my angle. And I'm going to take the other end and put it so it's open exactly as much as I as this arc across the angle. I'm going to put that was open right there. And now I'm going to take my compass and put it up here on this dot where the arc goes through the line that I drew. Where did my compass go? My compass disappeared. Alright, so I'm I'm right here. I need it here. I need it around here, and it's open exactly the same amount as it is there. Now I'm going to bring my compass up here, 
and set it on this dot where the arc goes through the line that I drew. And then I'm going to make that arc, move the compass away, <clears throat> and what you would do is take your straight edge and put it between this dot and where these cross. What I'm going to do is just take this, put my blue, do a line right through here, and there would be my line parallel to the other line. Now my cut, my construction isn't perfect, so my line is slanted a little bit, but we get the idea here. So this angle that I made here, this angle and this angle are corresponding angles. And by making the, the arc open exactly the same as it is down here, I made sure that those two angles were the same. So basically what I did was copy this angle right up here. And I made corresponding angles. So let's go through that construction one more time. This construction will be will be on the on the test next Friday. Um, no, the the quiz is an angle puzzle quiz. Um, all right, so here's my here's my line. Here's my point. Uh, my first step is I draw. From the end of the segment, I draw an angle through the point, and I want to extend it past. Now we're going to take our compass, set it on the vertex of this angle, doesn't matter how far open my compass is, and I'm just going to mark through both sides of the angle, like so. So I have no and there's no relation to like how open that is? No. It, I can open it as much as I want here. I just need to make it this mark. This mark is what's going to let me measure across across the angle. I just want to have a place to measure across the angle. Now I'm going to take this and set it on the point up here and make that same mark up here. And what we'll make about a half a circle just to make sure we have enough. So I set the compass point there on the on the point that we were given and make the same arc. Now I take the compass and set it where my arc goes through my angle. And I open the compass so it's exactly as far open as the angle across that arc. And now I'm going to move it up here to where the arc crosses the angle up here. Not through the original point, but through where the arc crosses the angle. Make this mark. Move the compass away. And then I would take my straight edge, lay it across here, and connect this point. Connect my point to where those cross. Still a little crooked, so my construction's not perfect. But that would be my line parallel to this line. Questions on that one? All right, and this, the, the notes, I'll post this on my website. The notes won't show the compass, but the video does show the compass. So you'll be able to see the, the compass on the video. Yes. So are you going to provide that doc for us? Or we yeah, no. The, the, and I'll, I'll pass out the homework that goes with this. We'll do some practice. But on each one, there's, there's a line and a dot. So that you, you're given a line and a dot. All right, so let's, let me stop this one. <coughs>